are going to focus on the charting functionality that is available within Viewpoint. We can add the chart widget by navigating to the top right hand corner, selecting from the Add Widget menu, the Charting widget that's available under the Market Data category. Typing in a security code, the data will populate for this security. For example, we've got Iris here. The widget is comprised of three things. The top part is a display menu option. If you can't see that on your screen, click on the little arrow on the top left hand corner. This will expose the display option. You have the ability to change the time interval from 5 minutes to 30 minutes, the chart style whether you like candlestick or a line chart, chart properties to manipulate the colours and borders, and here we have a library of over 60 indicators for you to add. Simply search for the indicator that you would like to see and you have the ability to add multiple and overlay these indicators. In Viewpoint, you can save a chart with a new name. Do this by navigating to the top right hand corner to the Save drop down and Save As. Here you can type in your chart name and press OK. In the future, you then have the ability to load this favourite. Please note that when creating a chart name, it cannot contain spaces. So if you need to, please use the underscore. For example, underscore 2. If you ever want to overwrite an existing save chart, simply click the button Save Chart and this will overwrite changes of the same name. Printing a chart in Viewpoint is simple and easy. Navigate to the top right hand corner to maximise the widget. Maximising the widget ensures that we can see the chart in its full view. Using your keyboard, take a screenshot of this widget. So for Windows and PC users, pressing the keys Alt and Print Screen simultaneously will take a screenshot. For Mac PC users, press the Option and F14 key simultaneously. You can then proceed in pasting this screenshot in an email or a Word document for example. Here you can then proceed in printing this document as per usual. In Viewpoint's charting package we have a set of chart navigation tools. This can be made visible when you hover over the bottom of the widget. Navigate to the left and right by clicking on the left arrow as well as to the right. This will let you view the data chronologically. Click on the minus symbol to zoom out of the chart or zoom in where you can really hone into the time series. If you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, this can be achieved by scrolling upwards on your mouse to zoom in or scrolling downwards which will zoom out. Should you ever want to revert back to the current date and time, navigate to the round arrow icon in the middle. This will revert back to the current date and time. Have a of drawing tools that you can use. Navigate to this section by going to the middle of the left hand side and you'll see a little arrow. By clicking on this arrow it will cascade and expand the drawing tool section. Clicking on the same button will minimize it. Here we have a array of different functions where you can draw trend lines and even draw triangles or other shapes. Let's say a triangle. By selecting a triangle you have the ability to capture the price movement. As you can see, for each drawing tool, there is a separate dialog box that appears. Note that this may be different depending on the functionality that you apply. You have the ability to further customize, as well as set the actual outline, manipulate the relevant border and background, And if you like, you have the ability to lock it, in other words, prevent it from being deleted, or completely delete it itself. When looking at the drawing tool section, you have the ability to draw trend lines, add shapes and patterns, add text for example, by selecting an area. Or alternatively, 
Should you ever want to hide the drawing tools, you have the ability to select this eye icon. This strike through indicates that you can easily remove and re-add the drawing tools here. If there is a specific drawing tool that you would like to delete or remove, by clicking on the icon, the dialog box allows you to select the bin symbol to remove it. Should you ever want to remove all of the drawing tools in bulk, navigate to the left hand corner here and remove all drawing tools. In this video you will learn how to add an indicator to a chart within viewpoint as well as learn how to overlay this on top of the existing stock or alternatively another indicator. Let's start off by navigating to the top left hand corner where we have this little arrow that exposes the display option menu. If this is not visible, simply click on the arrow and it will expand the menu. Navigate to the indicators icon and here you'll have access to over 60 indicators within the library. Simply scroll or search for the relevant indicator that you have in mind. Repeat the process until you have added the indicators of your choice. Please note that there is a maximum of 15 indicators that can be added to any single chart at any one time. As you can see, the name of the indicator is indicated on top. Should you wish to show or hide the indicators, simply click on the little eye symbol. This will expose and remove the relevant icon. Should you wish to manipulate the format of the indicator, click on the cog. Here you can manipulate the relevant settings, whether you want to increase the intensity of the indicator line for example, or even change the colour. Should you ever wish to actually delete the indicator, simply press the X symbol to delete the indicator. If you would like to undo this previous action, press Ctrl Z on your keyboard and it will restore this indicator. Now that we know how to add an indicator to the chart, let's overlay it. Click on the relevant indicator line. Through this single click, these indicator dots will be made visible. A little hand will appear and by holding on to it and clicking, you can see that this hand turns into a fist. Proceed to hold onto this indicator and drag it on top of the area of which you wish to overlay, in this case, another indicator as well as the iris stock. Here you can see the overlap. Should you wish to reposition it, Simply click on the indicator's line where the white dot appears, pick it up, and the fist can bring it down lower. Within Viewpoint's charting functionality, you have the ability to compare price values for multiple securities. Let's start off by navigating to the top left hand corner and click on the Add button. Here, we can type in a security and search for it. By adding this extra security, you can see that there are two charts made available on the same real estate. Note that you can add up to 10 charts in total. Should you ever wish to overlay that existing BHP stock price on top of the pre-existing stock, simply click on that stock. As you can see, these white dots appear. Just like how we did before in overlaying indicators, click on the relevant BHP stock, drag it up and the fist will then bring it on top of the iris share. In order for you to see a price line for the secondary stock, navigate to the cog symbol here. You can manipulate the format and actually add the price line for BHP. Should you ever wish to delete this actual second stock, navigate to the delete button and press X. Within Viewpoint's charting package, you have the ability to compare price movements for multiple securities. You can use the compare button to compare price movements up or down for two or more securities. Let's do this by navigating to the compare button and as you can see, array of securities is made available. By simply clicking on that stock, the relevant chart price movement will be added on top of the existing stock of Iris, for example. Should you wish to search for a security, you can simply type in the code and it'll automatically be added here. 
Note that you can add up to 10 securities in total. Please note that when you use the compare function, the additional chart is added as an overlay on top of the existing chart and the vertical axis of the same chart changes from price to percentage and is an auto scale to fit both charts on the screen. To remove the new chart, simply navigate to the X button and click delete. And that's how you compare price movements for multiple securities. Within Viewpoint's charting functionality, you have the ability to plot news and dividends on charts. Let's start off by navigating to the top right hand corner to show. In selecting the drop down, let's check news on charts. By checking this box, as you can see, there are red dots or indicators that appear on the screen. By hovering the cursor around the indicator, you can effectively see any market sensitive news articles that were released. And by double clicking on that red icon, an internet browser tab will open, providing a copy of this media release. Navigating back to the show and deselecting news and checking the dividends on charts, you can now see a blue indicator. This blue indicator displays at the start of the X date of the dividend and displays the X date, the amount paid, the book close date, and the payment date for the dividend. As you can see, we have the ability to configure news and dividends to provide a visual representation as to when they occur on the time series for a stock.